this is the temperature sensor I'm using. We need to find the code that converts the voltage this is sending to the temperature. And it's it'll be written by these people. So it's under documents here, shared folder. And my device is LHT65N. It's under here, EndNotes. LHT 65N and decoder. Now, this one's wrong. You read this and it sends you to another place. There we go. So we'll head over there. Find our device, LH. T65N, that's it there. There's quite a few decoders in there. This one, well this one looks like it's recently new, so we'll go for it. The Things Network. And what we're after here is the bit that, there's a whole lot of junk in here, but the bit that converts The um, this looks like it. Oh wow, there's two different formulas. This is saying if if it's one temperature sensor, are they any different? Pars float bytes seven twenty four sixteen. They're the same. That's great. That's what we need. That does the calculations, I think. I'll copy that. There might be a way of just using all this, but too hard for me. In this function here, this one works because this is the one I got from the other device. If we look at the data it's receiving here, you can see it's getting all this information and I think that current is the one we need to decode. It's still set up for water water depth. It thinks it's minus 72, so that's obviously wrong. So I'll come down here to the line where it decodes it, this one, and I want to put the new one in. This is the new one. So I will copy that, whack it in here. Done. Deploy. Send some data from my little device. Clear all these, eh? Waiting for my device data to come through. Waiting. Waiting. Oh, there's something, there's something. And there's something. Let's try this one. Nope, let's try this one. Nope, let's try this one. Oh, 
this might be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it, look, so that's received this current and it's converted it to 27 degrees Celsius, which sounds about what it is in this room. So that water deep centimeters, I need to change that to temperature, freezer temperature. So see that water deep temperature? I'll call that temp. Let's go temperature. Done. Deploy. So that's now receiving the um, temperature coming through. The next step is to get this into a sensor in Home Assistant. 